In Joshua chapter 6, the Israelites find themselves on the other side of the Jordan, ready to begin their campaign under the new leadership of Joshua. The beginning of their campaign finds them having to come up against the mighty walled city of Jericho. Most of us know the story of how Jericho's mighty walls would be brought tumbling down. A part of the army of Israel would march around Jericho's walls, followed by seven priests, each blowing their own horn, followed by the Ark of the Covenant, and then finally, followed by the other part of Israel's army. This company would march around the walls of Jericho once a day for six days, but on the seventh day, they would march seven times around the walls, and after the priests would blow their horns for the last time, all the people of Israel would cry out a great cry, and the walls would fall flat before the army, and Jericho would be easily conquered. An interesting development takes place, however, in between the priest's last trumpet blow and the people's great shout. In the 17th verse of Joshua chapter 6, Joshua commands the people to spare not one living thing in Jericho except for Rahab the prostitute and all her relatives that belonged to her. It turns out that because she hid the messengers of Israel in Joshua chapter 2, she and all her family would be spared from death. Easily, the story behind Rahab is one of the more prominent lessons for us in Joshua chapter 6. 1 Corinthians 15 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. The Lord remembered Rahab's work. Besides the men of Israel sparing her life, even more importantly, it was the Lord who spared her life first when he brought the walls of Jericho down, but kept her house intact, though it was built into the walls of Jericho. So be encouraged that the work you do for the Lord does not go unnoticed. If that work be ministry in the home, at work or overseas, let me encourage you that just as God remembers the works others have done by rewarding them, know that the Lord will also reward you. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9 to 10 says, And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap, if we do not give up. So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of faith.